Hey y'all, Dawn from Glory Grace Farm here. Just wanted to check in real quick and tell y'all how much I love this Southland Walk Behind Weed Trimmer. It is amazing. You know, it's like pushing a push mower, so sometimes it's a little easier than other times. Going downhill is easier than up. But for cutting, it's amazing. What I'm really happy about, as you can see down here, the way the string goes in. I got to put more string on it. I was going after some bigger weeds just seeing if it would cut them. And it's a really big um, with the edges. Big twine with the edges to rip through stuff. And it was cutting it. I'm telling you what. I'll show you where I was working at. You can see my wood pile. Oh, we got the chickens moved up today. They finished up. It doesn't look like they did much but because I, I was weed eating. It covered it all up with grass got to rake it all back off but I weeded it all around over there I weeded around the edge of where it left you know where the two befores were and I couldn't get up to the edges of it before I moved them so I weeded all that down and along the driveway and down the middle of the driveway but right here y'all this is a bunch of privet and junk growing up vines I don't know what all just a mess and it came all the way out, I guess to about here. And I've gotten all of that cut with this weed eater. Instead of having to come over here with my hand pruners and cut all this back. But like you saw, it started breaking the twine. So when you want to do heavy stuff, you're going to have to make sure you got plenty of twine. I've only got two more pieces, replacements, because it only came with one set of replacement twine. But, uh... I love how it goes on because I had a weed eater a while back that did like that kind of feed and you didn't have to wind up your spindle and all that mess that is a pain in the butt and everything. But I'm telling you what, this sucker is going to get the job done and it's going to make it so much easier because like I was saying in a previous video, my sons and I just cannot tote a handheld weed eater for very long because of arthritis issues and it just wears us out the but this it's tiring on the hands because you have to keep that pull the um, keep the bar pulled and everything up so it's got the safety to where it'll shut off if you don't but it is amazing it's I had to cut a limb off my tree to move my tractor hi everybody they're so happy y'all I don't even think I've got to video with them in there. But they are so thrilled. I'm, we got them moved forward. It worked out fantastic. I was worried about pulling it forward because we're having to use the truck. It is too heavy for us to pull by hand. So we're going to rethink some design for the next one we do. But because I love the size. I want to be able to get in it and do what I need to do in it and everything else. So what we did we just came up to the very front and we threw some feed down and then we put some feed up on the platform and so some of them were up there eating but the few that wandered to that back wall as soon as it started to scoot because i moved very slowly with my truck they would be like oh no and so they'd run to the front so there was no trouble whatsoever my son ty helped me he watched everybody to make sure everybody moved and it just went smoothly and I couldn't have asked for better. I'm just so tickled with it, y'all. Just so tickled with it. It just really has turned out fantastic. Today's a good day. It's super windy, but they've got them a good shade now for a couple of days from this Chinese dogwood um, to where they'll have a good shade while they're working. But this is what the weed eater has done. I mean, it just, it nips it in the bud. It gets it all the way down. And, you know, if you want to leave it higher, you can just kind of tilt it back and it'll leave it higher like you've cut it with a lawnmower you can see over there where i did that a little bit and it's taller but i was trying to go back over this because i want to kill it down as much as i can before we move them up on it here in a couple of days um to uh, keep working on this garden area because this whole area here is where i'm standing and where we weeded it you can tell the difference in the height of the grass it's going to be the garden and i'm so excited but you can see all this grass, I mean, it was so tall. It was probably a foot and a half t 
tall in this particular spot because I didn't mow it when I mowed the other day with my dad's mower. I thought, well, we're going to get the chicken tractor put on it. Well, we didn't get the chicken tractor put on it as fast as I wanted. So it had gotten really thick and I was afraid it wouldn't, it would bog it down and it wouldn't cut it, but it just went right through it. It's amazing. But you can see I've still got tree limbs everywhere. I finished pruning up except for getting my bigger saw and cutting those all the way back to the tree and we can get it all cleaned up and start setting our blueberries out underneath the pine tree i'm excited about that we gotta finish demolitioning that rotten thing there and getting it all cleaned up ty and i went back and we pruned up the tulip poplar and the other red bud i'm afraid something's got a hold of it and killing it some kind of moss or fungus of some sort but it's hanging on so i'm gonna let it be for now but that tulip poplar it just amazes me because it was totally destroyed several years ago by a lightning and my ex at the time my husband at the time now my ex had to cut it all the way down at the base and that humongous tree has grown back out of it never been hit again i mean it just shows you how it just you might go through some storms, but you can come back better than ever. So I just wanted to check in with everybody, let everybody know how everything was going. And like I said, I'm just so tickled with that weed eater, Southland brand. Um, if you have a Amazon thing, you can get them and pay payments on them. That's how we did it. I think mom had me share on the Facebook um, the link to where she uh, found it at. So um, if you go to the Glory Grace Farm Facebook page, you can find the link there. Um, if I can remember, I'll try to put it in this um, video, but it's harder to do some of that stuff through my phone because I haven't gotten the hang of moving information from my phone to my computer to do a little bit more work on it. So that I'm learning on. I got my camera out today. I have a regular 35 millimeter camera that um i really hoped i could start using some went to take pictures today and it won't take a picture i don't know what happened to it it just sends the lens in and out like it's trying to zoom and nothing happens so sadly that camera must be gone kaput it's several years old so time to find a new one i guess but for now we'll just keep using this phone camera it works great and as you can see, all the chicken ladies and Mr. S Mr. Chanticleer over there is happy as days, as my son would say. <laughs> Finding a new grass and digging little worm holes. They just crack me up when they find a happy spot. They just stick with it for a while. And you'll find little divots where they've dug. Because they're like, well, if there's one worm in there, then there's probably some more worms. <laughs> see right here's one. They just kept on digging and digging and digging, looking for the worms in the holes and everything. So I guess the plow will take care of all that, but I got to rake all this grass back up off of here because they did an excellent job cleaning it down. But uh, I guess I'll check back in with y'all when we get some more things done and do an update on the chicks and the ducklings and go from there. It's a beautiful day. I hope it's not too windy. So that y'all can hear me. It's been a very, very windy day. God bless y'all. See y'all soon.